Hi YouTube. This video deals with pulling wire into a three-phase panel. In this video, I will explain how to determine what color wire to pull into a three-phase panel by dividing the circuit number by the number six. But before we get started, I'll need to go over the voltage and colors and phases we'll be dealing with. So I'm an electrician and I work in commercial buildings and I normally work in new construction. And in commercial buildings and in new construction, we deal with two levels of voltage. We deal with 208, 120 volts to ground, and we deal with 480, 277 volts to ground. So our panels are either 208, 120 volts to ground, or our panels are either 480, 277 volts to ground. We normally deal with three phase, and in three phase, each phase is represented by an alphabet. So there's an A phase, there's a B phase, and there's a C phase. Also, each phase is also represented by a color, depending upon which voltage that you're dealing with. So when we're dealing with 208, 120 volts to ground, if you look in a panel, there's 208, 120 volts to ground. A phase is represented by the color black. B phase is represented by the color red. And C phase is represented by the color blue in the 208 120 volt panel. In the 480 277 volt panel, A phase is represented by the color brown. B phase is represented by the color orange. And C phase is represented by the color yellow. So what we do is we take a circuit number and you get the circuit number from the blueprint or from the panel schedule. We take the circuit number, we divide it by the number six, and we come up with one of these colors, and we know what color to pull in for that particular circuit. Okay? Let's start with the 208-120 volt panel colors. Okay? So what we do is we divide the circuit number by the number six. If you get a remainder of one or two, either you divide by six, then you pull in a black. If you get a remainder of three or four, then you pull in red. If you get a remainder of five or you get no remainder, you pull in blue. And again, when you're pulling in these colors, you may need to pull in a neutral. And you'll always pull in a green grounding wire. Keep that in mind. Okay, let's just take a look at this example. So on your print, you may have a GFCI outlet, GFCI waterproof outlet, okay? This right here represents the panel, and this number right here, this is what we're mainly interested in, that represents the circuit number. So we divide this 16 right here, this circuit number 16, we divide it by 6, and we come up with a color wire to pull in for this particular outlet along with its neutral and again along with its green grounding wire okay now here is a small room with three circuits in it you have circuit 25 27 and 29 now we need to pull these circuits we need to determine what color wire to pull in for these circuits 25 27 and 29 let's start with pulling in circuit number 25 here's how you would do it you would take that circuit number 25 and you would divide 6 into 25. 6 going to 25 four times. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 from 25 leaves 1. We pull that down. Okay. So you have a remainder of 1. When you have a remainder of 1 or 2, you will pull in a black wire. You will pull in a black. So that would be a A phase black circuit you will pull in for circuit number 25. Let's pull in circuit number 27. We have to determine the color. Okay. You would divide 6 into the circuit number. 6 going to 27, the circuit number. 6 going to 27. 4 times. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 from 27 is 3. If you have a remainder of three or four, you will pull in a red as your color. You will pull in a red if you have a, a 
remainder of three and four. Okay, let's look at pulling in circuit 29. So we want to pull in circuit 29. We need to know what color. Again, pull in circuit 29. Six going to the circuit number, circuit 29. Six going to 29. Four times, four times six is 24. 24 from 29 is five. If you have a remainder of five or you have no remainder, then you will pull in blue as your circuit color. And again, that is for the 208 120 volt panel. Now, let's take a look at the 480 277 volt colors. Again, brown represent phase A, orange represent phase B, and yellow represent phase C. And it's the same way. So if you divide your circuit number by six and you get a remainder of one or two, you will pull in a brown. If you get a remainder of three or four, you will pull in an orange. And if you get a remainder of five or you get no remainder, then you will pull in yellow. Again, you may need to pull in a neutral and you always have to pull in a green grounding wire. Okay, this is that very same room that we just looked at with the outlets in it, but this is the lighting print. There again, the, there's three circuits in this room here, three 277 volt circuits, lighting circuits in this room. You have circuit 30, circuit 32, and circuit 34. We need to pull these circuits, so we need to determine what color to pull in. Let's start with pulling in. 30. We're going to pull in circuit 30 first. Okay. We divide 6 into our circuit number. 6 go into 30 5 times. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 from 30 leaves 0. So if you have a remainder of 5 or you have no remainder, and in this case we have no remainder, you pull in yellow as your circuit. Your circuit will be a C phase yellow circuit. Okay. Now, Let's pull in circuit 32. Circuit 32, we need to determine what color. Six, go into the circuit color. I mean circuit number six, go into the circuit number. Six, go into 32. Five times, five times six is 30. 30 from, 32 is two. So you have a remainder of two. When you have a remainder of one or two, you will pull in brown. You will pull in brown for your 480, 277 panel. So you will pull in brown for circuit number 32. Okay. Let's look at pulling in that last circuit, number 34. We're pulling the last circuit, 34. Six going to 34. Five times, five times six is 30. 30 from 34 is four. So you have a remainder of four. So if you have a remainder of three or four, you will pull in an orange. You will pull in an orange color for uh, if you have a remainder of four. And you will pull in an orange for 34. Now I need to show you something that's very important. Very, very important. In new construction. In new construction. And I try to draw some breakers and uh, wires landing on the breakers. This is just my own drawing. Just Okay, so just bear with me. This is my artwork. All right. Notice how you got all the odd numbers on the left-hand side and all the even numbers on the right-hand side. So you have one across from two, they're brown. Three across from four, they're orange. Five across from six, they're yellow. And so on. Brown, orange, yellow, brown, orange, yellow. Okay, this is how it's set up in new construction. Now let me show you an example of something that you may run across when you're renovating an old building. You may run across a panel that's set up like this. One, two, three, four, five, in numerical order, all the way down, and back up, and in numerical order again. Now, it's very important that I show you this because you cannot divide by six and get the circuit color if the numbers are in numerical order all the way down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then back up and all the way down again. In a panel that's set up like this, you cannot divide by six and get the circuit color. So keep that in mind. You can only divide by six and get the circuit color if, 
if it's set up and it's designed 135 with all the odd numbers on the left hand side and all the even numbers on the right hand side. So keep that in mind. Let me show you a couple of more things. Look at this. All right, what I have here is like an electrical color code cheat sheet. And a lot of electricians keep these in their wallets. So it got all the colors, low voltage, 208 colors on one side and all the high voltage colors on the other side. And what you do is you se select the number that you're pulling. Maybe you're pulling number 14. Notice number 14 is across from the black on one side and is across from the brown on the other side. So this is how you would determine, use this card to determine what color wire to pull in. A lot of electricians keep these in their wallets. I got another one here. This one is a little different. It has the full 80 colors on one side and it has the 208 120 on the other side. And all you got to do is determine which the circuit color you pull in. You just go to the circuit color. What if I was pulling in 22? Notice that it's red. What if I was pulling in 32? Notice that it's black. You just simply use this card and you go to the color wire that you're pulling. So you can get these, these two right here, you can get these from apprenticeship, electrical apprenticeship schools, and you can also get them from electrical supply houses may have them. And one last thing I want to show you. This is a pretty cool thing here. I want to show you this. This is cool. I want to show you this. These right here are logos for apps. This, these are electrical apps. These are logos for these apps. Notice this, this app is Circuit Color. It's called Circuit Color, and you can get it from the uh, app store. This, this app right here costs 99 cents. It's a good app. This app right here is free. It's called Circuit Number Color. I'll show you how it works by using my phone. Just bear with me a minute. It's going to take me a minute to pull it up. Give me one minute. It's going to take me a minute here. Okay. This is my phone. This is the app. Let me show you how this app works. If you can see, all you have to do is put in a circuit number and put in a voltage level. Okay. I am going to put in circuit number 36. Then I got to put in a voltage. I got to put in a voltage. Sometimes you have these advertisements come up. So just disregard that. So I am going to put in 277. Notice how it comes up yellow. All right. Let's try another one. All right. Let's put in 25. And that voltage. Again, notice how it puts in brown. I'm sorry again. Disregard the uh, advertisement. Disregard that. Um, that happens. Just disregard this. Sometimes you have to deal with that with the apps. Uh, so this is a nice app. It's called Circuit Color Numbers. So you can download this on your phone. And this will help you to be able to immediately access what color you need to pull. Now again, you do have the advertisement that pops up. All right, that concludes this video, and I thank you for watching.